think it was in Texas on the, the big tour, the 68 tour, um, where Eric just said, man, I've had enough. And I said, yeah, man, so have I. And that was it, the end of the gig. Um, we told Stigwood, I don't know whether he believed it or what. We did what we set out to do, and uh, I think we couldn't have done any more. I think it lasted just the right length of time to, to make the, the little statement that we had. I never thought that I would be in a commercially successful band. I didn't set out to do that. In my life, it, it just happened that way. Uh, I'm very glad that it did, though. It was a great experience. I didn't really ever want to be tied down to a band. I mean, the minute it started to get too, um, too much like a prison, or too routine, then I'd want to get out, you know, I mean, just the gypsy side of me, just moving on. It was, it was just the end of it. We did the Goodbye Cream concert at the Albert Hall, and we, we did the Goodbye album, which was some of that tour live, and we did three tracks in LA. Um, and that was it, yeah. Rolling Stone wrote an article in, I think, 1967 or 68. It was, will cream stand the test of time? Um, it did, and it will, I think. Um, it was really something extraordinarily good that happened musically.